it moves me that my images can move people and I mean, it's the most important thing to me. The fact that I can make someone's life a little better, a little more interesting, feel like they have a little more agency, a little more power. The role of art as a form of advocacy for me is quite important. I wanted to utilize my art for a sense of purpose outside of just hanging my work, you know, on white walls in galleries or museum. Beauty aesthetics are the sharpest tool in the box and I believe that they can be used effectively to more adequately and more powerfully communicate complicated and difficult narratives. Altogether, it is, uh, I guess, a sense of, uh, of openness uh, and not being afraid, questioning what you see by viewing things from different angles. I think almost all of my best work has been made after I failed a different project. It's working through that failure where you break new ground. And, and it takes resiliency. Most of my pictures, they are, my models are not depicted as themselves, but rather as an idea of themselves, or an idea which is larger, which is more universal or more symbolic. As an artist, you're faced with questions. What are you going to give the world? And not what are you going to get? The life of, of, of an artist is quite a lonely journey because, you know, it's really, it's in your head what you, what you visualize, you know. And if you don't have that drive to take what's in your mind and go out and do it, it will never be done. It will never be done. Without representation, you can't make change. And so community is a great way to begin to articulate the more complex ideas around that. What happens if you go through life paying heightened attention as you go through your day? I felt more awake when I didn't turn my mind off when I was in a taxi or having dinner, but was actually paying attention to what I was doing at all kinds of moments during the day.